Dr. H. Parsi Kalappa is the Executive Secretary and Program Director of IST in Melbourne and Chairman of IST in Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry Section. He has also been the Vice President of IST. Chairman Jaipur Engineer College, Engineer Lalit K. Saru Sarugi, is the alumni of Ramaya College of Engineering, Bangalore, it's a prestigious college in the state of Karnataka, and a learned person. Below Director Professor Sanjay Pujari. The Chairman of IST Rajasthan Section, Professor R.P. Jivadiji. Today's guest of honor and joint director of, Directorate of Technical Education, Government of Rajasthan, and Secretary of IST Rajasthan Section, Sri Acharya Engineer Darya Singh Ji, the convenes of the annual convention, Dr. Sunita Rawat and Engineer Anil Agarwal. Mr. Sudhir Kumar, the EZ member of IST Rajasthan section, section management committee members, the research director, Dr. G. D. Sharma Ji, Dr. Professor P. N. Narek Ji, staff members of Jaipur Engineering College, parents, guardians, loving students. I greet you all in this fine occasion in the name of God. Today we are inaugurating the IST Rajasthan Section Student Annual Convention for the year 2014 in this esteemed institution. I am very happy to note that I have been invited as the chief guest of this function by the director of this Jaipur Engineering College, Dr. Pujari. Dr. Pujari, is very simple. It's correct, huh? Yes. Yes. <laughs> 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 Dr. Pujari is very simple and lovely person. He is the director of this well established institution. Also, this institution is situated city of Jaipur, which is also called as Pink City. Dear students and staff, everybody likes pink color. Is it okay? Pink in color and in it. May God bless him and his family members abundantly. I wish to say few words about Engineer Darya Singh. He is very active and also a simple and humble person. I appreciate him for his contribution through AST in Rajasthan stage and to the nation for the well being of the technical education system. May the rich God bless him also. I am very happy to say about the IST activities promoted in Rajasthan section by the section chairman, Professor R.P. Diwari. R.P. Diwari ji, his cooperation and high kind hearted nature are highly appreciable. Engineer Anil Agarwal. Professor Naresh and Dr. Sunita Rawat who are doing a lot of IST activities in this institution. I appreciate them for the 
and lengthen service to the student community. On behalf of IST, I appreciate the chairman of Jaipur Engineering College and Jaipur Engineering College of, uh, in College of Engineering and Technology, Jaipur, for his kind heart of guest by sanctioning permission to conduct various programs with the liberal financial support to motivate the young students to exhibit their talents and to create good, talented and knowledgeable student community for the development of our nation. Dear students, all these activities are conducted only for moulding you and motivating you as a good citizen of this country. In India, about 65% of the population is below the age of 35, below the youth. You are ruling the country because you are the backbone of this country. The nation highly depends the developmental activities from your hands. You should be more hardworking, as Professor T.B. Divari noted. You should be more sincere, dedicated. Also, you should be free from all evil practices. May God bless you all from his enrichments. About IST, I wish to say few words. At present, the membership base of Indian Society for Technical Education is we are having faculty members that is light membership of about 95,000 and student membership of about 5 lakh. We are having nearly about 2,500 institution members and faculty chapters of about 1,500. Again, the same that is student chapters. For the well-being of students and staff, we are conducting a lot of programs and a lot of activities. For the well-being of students, we are conducting national annual convention once in a year. And again, annual convention at the section level. We are having 16 sections throughout the country. Each section is conducting their own section level convention for faculty and students separately. We are sponsoring conferences, seminars, workshops to motivate the students and to exhibit their talents. And we are conducting IST student leadership program. This program has been conducted twice in this college. I have to appreciate the management and the staff members along with the director of this <laughs> That shows the committed way of things they are executing for the well-being of the students. I had discussion with the chairman of this institution in this morning. He is very much worried about students. Why? He wants to project his students that they should be the builders of this country. Not only his students alone, he quoted about other college students also. He wanted to promote other college students also. That's why he told me a lot of suggestions to promote a lot of activities through IST. I want to appreciate doing this in that shows his generosity. That's why we are planning to sanction on uh, IST Working Professional Learning Project that is Industry Institute Interaction Program to this college for the benefit of And we are conducting IST Sri Ramanujan Mathematical Competition Examination at the chapter level, zonal level, and again at the national level. I think you might have participated in this examination also. And we are going to have the award function on 14th of March 2014 at Babaji Institute of Engineering and Technology, Damanagiri. Some days your college may have award winners also. I congratulate you all. Program and get awards and give joy to your parents, not only to your parents and relatives, to joy to your chairman and this institution. And again, we are giving awards to students to motivate their talents and we are conducting entrepreneurship development programs. Now, 
I want to say some of other things related to our nation, that is, I want to brief about the pillars that prop up the Indian economy. India is one of the largest economies in the world and growing with every passing year is common knowledge. But what really buttresses the nation is its infrastructure and its inextricable ties with development, its vast network of roads and bridges, the booming power and energy sector, the oil and gas industry, and its indispensable rail and air networks. Infrastructure projects are getting more robust as the country prepares to catapult itself being the third largest economy in Asia to the third largest economy in the world by 2050. Why is it the need for speed and efficient execution of plans? The government of India set an investment target of rupees 1.15 crore in public-private partnership across the rail, port and power sectors in this year. The major projects in the offing include the Mumbai Elevator Train Corridor, that is rupees 30,000 crores, two international airports in Bhubaneswar and Nepal, that is about rupees 20,000 crores, and power and transmission projects, that is for about rupees 40,000 crores. First of all, let us see about the roads and bridges. India lies heavily on its road network which ferries 80% of its passenger traffic and 65% of freight. The third largest in the world, it spans 4.69 million kilometers, a number that is next only to the United States of America and China. With the number of vehicles growing at an average rate of 10.16% per annum, the government has handed out 2,000 kilometers worth of new construction contract in the financial year 2013-14. And again, we are uh, having that is about the uh, government of India given a contract of rupees 17,906 million contracts to build a six-lane highway linking a heavy traffic eastern industrial zone to mining areas such as Dunbar. It is in Uttar Pradesh, which has one of India's largest road networks, will also be converted busy roads into four-lane highways. Then again, regarding railways, the Indian Railways, one of the busiest rail network in the world, is also the country's largest employer and one of its highest revenue generators. Spread over approximately 65,000 route kilometers, it plans to add 25,000 kilometers by new lands by 2020. Ferrying more than 25 million passengers every day to different corners of India, the Indian Railways has its sights set on even more ambitious goals. The IRCTC is planning to invest rupees 100 crores to revamp its online ticketing system. After the reconstruction of their website, its ticket, that is, processing capacity will increase by 275 percentage up from 2,000 tickets a minute to 7,500 tickets. Besides, there are plans to build vertical class stations and high-speed rail corridors, implement commercial utilization of land and reduce its carbon footprint. Then regarding ports and airports, with more than 180 ports, India's 7,517 km long coastline gives a huge impetus to maritime transport and offers lucrative international trade opportunities. The 12 major ports, which account for about 58% of the total cargo, shift through the country's ports, and then 137 million tons of goods in the first quarter of financial year 2013. The civil aviation sector, the fastest growing arm of India's transport infrastructure, in addition to the new airports at Imbal and Bhubaneswar, will be undertaking the construction of 50 new small, low-cost airports. Besides, eight greenfield airports are to be awarded in public-private partnership mode at Navi Mumbai, 
ಜುಗು ಗೋವಾ ಕಣ್ಣೂರ್ ಪುಣೆ ಸರ್ಪರಂಪುದು ಬಳ್ಳಾರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಗಾಲ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಐಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಏರ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಟೌನ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಕ್ರೋಸ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲರ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ ಆನಮ್ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಏರ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಡೋಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ದಿಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ವುಡ್ ವೆಲ್ ಟಚ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಕ್ರೋಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಏವಿಯೇಷನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕೋ ಕ್ರೋ ಕೋರ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಇಟ್ ಬೋಸ್ ಜೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಶೋರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಅಲ್ಟ್ರಾ ಮಾಡರ್ನ್ ಎನ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಲಿ ರೆಫನರೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಹೈಟೆಕ್ ಪೈಪ್ ಲೈನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ India is the sixth largest consumer of oil in the world and the ninth largest crude oil importer with the industry contributing more than 50 percentage to the GDP. Add to this the fact that India is one of the least explored countries in the world and the discovery of quite a few new gas fields along the east coast. and the industry seems set to be steering itself on an exciting new path exploration and production spend in the country has been almost double in recent years the country's gas pipeline coverage has increased substantially and domestic gas supplies are expected to increase the proposed new refinery project in barma <coughs> pachipada in rajasthan is having the following highlights and possibilities annual production capacity in rajasthan it is the, the project is in the rajasthan annual production capacity will be 9 million metric ton per annum <coughs> estimated project cost will be 37229 crores during operational period income of about rupees 8.78 lakh crore and employment opportunities of 1.39 lakhs that is in the state of rajasthan that by the development you are also going to receive within a short span of time then industrial hub for petrochemical industries that is also planned in the state of rajasthan then immense opportunities for petro based industries your chairman is worried about of industrial sector in the state of rajasthan but government of india is going to set out these project and again because of that you are going to get immense opportunities for petro based industries and students you are going to get good opportunities that in the future in the near future during 4 years of construction period rupees 747000 crores and employment opportunities of 1.25 lakhs thus if the progress of the country can be said to be hinging on its infrastructure india seems poised to be charting an ever escalating graph of success i invite all the guests staff delegates and students to take part in the development and activities of our nation and by which we shall achieve the super power status in the world within a short span of time again i assure that the research and development activities undertaken by this esteemed institution under the chairmanship of uh, under the chairman and under the uh, director of this institution will enable the country to achieve marvels among other nations the contribution for the development of our country by jaipur engineering college jaipur is also highly appreciable because they said regarding their research and development activities the research and development activities are supervised by uh, dr sharma that if you reach any college they are having good linkage with industries and institutions in korea in european countries that's why your contribution is highly appreciable i appreciate the management the particularly the chairman of the honorable chairman of this institution and the director of jaipur J- uh, uh, engineering college dr sanjay pujari professor staff and all others who are responsible for the achievements made by this institution for the well being of the student community by these words i wish to wind my i wish to wind my speech may god bless you all from his enrichments thanking you ananda
Good morning to all of you. All the dignitaries present on the dais. Thank you, New Indian Society for Technical Education in 1968, with a view to enlarge the activities to advance the cause of technology.